In this video, we're going to discuss improper integrals with infinite limits, and then we're going to do an example. So there are three cases. So the first case is if you have something like this. Say you're going from a to infinity, and we're trying to integrate f of x with respect to x. So when you have something like this, the formula is really natural. So we take the limit, and basically what you do is you replace the infinity with a symbol. Let's use b. And then you let b approach infinity. So it's a really easy formula to memorize because basically, again, you're replacing the infinity with a letter, and then you're letting the letter approach, or the variable approach, infinity. All of this, by the way, is assuming f is continuous. Two, if instead we have negative infinity to say a of f of x dx, in this case, same thing, we write the limit sign, and we replace the negative infinity with a letter, and again, I'll use b, and we let b approach negative infinity. And here we have our f of x and our dx. So just, in both cases, just replace the infinity with any letter you like and let that variable approach infinity. The third case is if you have two infinities, so like negative infinity to infinity. This actually comes up a lot in probability theory. So if you study more advanced uh, statistics and probability, you use this a lot. It's, it's a big deal. Uh, so this is equal to. So what you can do here is you can break it up at any number you like. So we can go from negative infinity to c, where c is some real number, and then from c to infinity. So we've just broken it up at some random number c, and again assuming f is continuous. So a couple remarks regarding these definitions, and then we'll do a simple example. So in 1 and 2, so in the first two, we say the integral converges, so converges, if the limit exists. So if the limit on the right-hand side, so I'll use RHS for right-hand side, exists. So when you're working this out and you compute this limit, if you get a number, then that means the limit exists and that means that the integral converges. If you don't get a number, like if you get infinity or negative infinity or something that doesn't make sense, then the integral does not converge. So if it does not converge, we say it diverges. So otherwise, we say it diverges. The third one will converge only if both integrals converge. So in 3, the integral converges if both integrals so if both integrals on the right-hand side converge, so they both have to converge. If one of them diverges, game over, the whole thing diverges. So if both integrals on the right-hand side converge. So they both have to converge in order to, for us to have uh, convergence here. Let's go ahead and do a simple example of uh, one of these, so let's see. These take a little bit of getting used to. Um, when you're first doing these, just go extra slow. Uh, the notation is uh, pretty cumbersome at first. So we have one to infinity, and then we have three over x to the fifth dx. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to evaluate this. So we'll start by writing it as the limit as b approaches infinity of the integral from 1 to b. Then we have 3 over x to the 5 dx. 
So all we've done is we've replaced the infinity with the letter b, or the variable b, and we've let b approach infinity. Now we do have to integrate this, so in order to do that, we will rewrite it. So we still have to write the limit sign, and we still have our integral of 1 to b. We can bring the x upstairs, so it becomes x to the negative 5, and then we have our dx here. Okay, at this point we're ready to integrate, so we have the limit as b approaches infinity, and we're going to add 1 here to the exponent, so this is going to be 3x to the negative 4 over negative 4, and we're going from 1 to b. Okay, so again, just adding 1 and dividing, and that puts us uh, here. Let's go ahead and rewrite this one more time. This is the limit as b approaches infinity of negative 3 fourths. I'm going to go ahead and bring it back downstairs. 1 over x to the fourth, 1 to b. Just wanted to rewrite it one more time before we plug in the limits of integration. Notice how we're writing the limit sign every single time to the very end. It's really important. Structure is key. This is the limit as b approaches infinity. I'm going to leave the 3 fourths here on the outside. First we plug in b, so we get 1 over b to the fourth. We subtract, and then we plug in 1, so we get 1 over 1 to the fourth. All right, taking the limit. So this piece here is going to approach 0 because uh, the number on the bottom is getting really, really, really big. So 1 over something getting big approaches 0. So we have negative 3 fourths, 0 minus 1. So it's just going to be 3 over 4. This is a number, so this means that the integral converges. So the integral converges. If we had gotten something like uh, d and e or infinity or negative infinity via this limit, then we would say it diverges. I hope this video has been helpful.